John here guys and today we're talking about my own little concussion a DJI HD version of the Catalyst Machine Works massive droner but this is not their three inch custom HD version of the frame this is my own spin and it is the original two and a half inch frame that's right I have stuffed everything in here and it fit just barely with a few asterisks uh, but this has been an exceptionally fun project ever since i saw ferrati posting that torque fpv little micro vista flying um on 3s i think it was i've been super jealous and that frame has been a little hard to come by and i wanted to come up with something of my own so i actually bought a couple of different frames um, and none of them really worked. And then I was going through my box of stuff and I found this frame, the old two and a half inch master donor. And I got to thinking if I could stuff the nebula into the tadpole three inch, could I similarly stuff this thing in here and it worked. I actually used the exact same formula that I use on that tadpole three inch. So this is the nameless, um, all in one FC, ESC board and I have that 3d printed TPU adapter that goes from toothpick style to 20 by 20 in order to hold the Vista on top now those two on top of each other um, run very close to the top of this cage Now I've seen some people mill that out a little bit I didn't really want to do that because um, it did have a about a millimeter of clearance maybe a millimeter and a half um, but since this solution for holding on the vista doesn't have any screws on the top to keep it secured i wanted to give a little bit of extra protection just in case in a crash or in a flip it kind of um, raised up a little bit so i put a little bit of electrical tape this is the 3M Super 33 variety. It really sticks well. It doesn't leave any sticky residue. And I put that just on the underneath of each of those. So if it does go up a little bit, it has a little bit of a cushy surface. And I put my Crossfire Nano right on top with the uh, Mini Immortal T antenna right on top of there too. So this is not going to be going long range. I did decide to use the full vista antenna on this um, as opposed to a dipole it really doesn't weigh that much difference and this had a really nice structure on the back just to zip tie it in place works perfectly great i'm using these hq um, these are the two and a half by two and a half um, inch version of their prop of course this is the 1106 4500 kv motors now on the tadpole three inch when i use this with three inch i was using 3s batteries but for this formula on two and a half inch i am using 4s so a 650 milliamp 4s pack works really well it's not going to get you super long flight times but there'll be a good you know three to four minutes if you're just kind of cruising around and that's what i really liked about this if you haven't flown an old school two and a half inch formula in a while I mean, you might want to try it because the toothpick formula is really great. Ultra light, lots of thrust to weight ratio, but the speeds are not on par with this. This doesn't have that instantaneous float fly punch to the sky in just a second, but the top speeds on this are a little bit better. The control on this with the extra weight is a little bit better. It's a little bit easier to maintain super low, super precise moves. I took this to an old movie theater that I used to go to as a kid that is unfortunately abandoned now uh, with everything going on but that was an incredibly fun place to fly and that's what i wanted i wanted something of this size with the dji system on board so i can get hd recording to my goggles have that to be able to use for whatever i want or just to be able to actually see it clearly. I actually took an analog drone to the same spot, and this is an instance of where DJI excels. Um, analog was just dying with that metal ring structure around the place. It could barely see it all, but this thing was just like not a pixel blurring. It was ultra clear. Uh, very impressive, very impressive. 
So what do you think in the comments, guys? I may go ahead and build up the actual HD version of this. You only gain about five grams doing so, so that's a much easier uh, formula to work with as opposed to cramming it in here, but I wanted to prove that it was possible. Look at that, look at that. Fits in the palm of my hand, so cool. Um, if you haven't flown one of these caged Catalyst Machine Works designs, I really like how you do get the maximum amount of camera protection for this very expensive camera that is in this Vista unit. So whether you wanna go big or small, Catalyst Machine Works seems to be the place to go. They have that new money shot system. I'm gonna try to get my hands on one of the versions of that very soon, so stay tuned for that, guys. Thanks.